this one's going to be about making money, um, whether or not it's okay to make money from what you're doing online, because I noticed that um, that's a topic um, that a lot of you actually seem to be quite upset about. There are some people on here who want to be able to make money from what they're doing online, um, and there are some other people who seem to think oh, that's a really evil thing to do. You know, um, you shouldn't be able to, what are you doing, that's wrong. Um, money is only for, you know, the sort of demoniacs at the top of corporations and that sort of stuff. Actually, just give me a sec because I'm just going to put my light on. Okay, that's better. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to possibly talk about my own situation a little bit here yet. Um, in order to give people some perspective. Oh, crap. I didn't have the microphone down either. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. Um, my, own pers my own background here. I am, I'm on a disability support pension. Um, so I get, well, I'm not going to go into exactly how much I get, but I would probably end up being literally penniless. Um, I would say three to four days out of, out of every 14, because I get paid once every 14 days. Um, so yeah, I really don't have a lot of money. I will admit, I've looked at the internet before and trying to do something on the internet um, as a means of making an income. Um, but I've actually run into a lot of resistance for, um, with that because there are a lot of people out there who apparently don't believe that anyone should have the right to make money from anything creative um, that they want to try and do online. Which I think is sad and I think it's unfair and I think there's possi it's possibly a case that these people are primarily upset of the idea that other people are going to be making money. <coughs> like for example the Daxter. I saw one of his replies to Crossmac um, about the PayPal button on in crossland.com. The thing I want to ask the Daxter is are you really only upset about that over the idea that maybe it's going to be someone else making money and not you? Or do you um, are you thinking basically you, you're possibly in a job that you hate and you resent the idea that because you feel that you have to do a job that you really don't like in order to earn an, in order to earn a living that it's unfair that other people are going to be able to earn money from doing something that they actually enjoy. I mean, that's one of the other things that I think is the case. There are a lot of people out there who are engaging in or who have forms of employment that they really don't like. And so if other people are able to earn money from doing things that they do enjoy, I think those people really resent that because they think, well, I'm having to do, or I feel that I'm having to do, a job that I really hate in order to earn a living, and yet there are these other people, um, in goodness knows how many different, you know, situations, who are making money doing what it is that they really like. That's not fair. I'm resentful of that, because I'm not in that situation myself. You know, and I think if people are feeling that way, um, that possibly is something that they ought to look at. I'm not going to pass judgment on the merit of anything else that Ian Crossland is doing, one way or the other. Yes, I did, uh, yes, I did end up subscribing to him because I've noticed I've been paying a fair amount of attention to him these days. But one area where I will admit I am going to come out in support of him is that if he wants to if he wants to earn income, if he wants to earn a living from what it is that he's doing online, irrespective of the amount that other people are possibly going to criticise him for doing that, I'm not going to. And I'm also not going to criticise um, Blunty, I can't remember the rest of his username, um, for wanting to make money either. Because some of the stuff that he's doing, it is really creative, it is good, he is talented. And I do think he deserves to be able to make a living from what he does. 
you know I mean if we've got people on here who are creative and who do have a gift they really ought to be able to make money from it they ought to be allowed to I don't um, I mean we need m uh, look as much as you might hate it and as much as I might hate it at times the reality is that we do need money to live still at the moment I mean yeah hopefully the Marxist wet dream eventually might come true and we'll have a society um, you know where money isn't an issue anymore and we all use barter or I don't know maybe we'll invent replicators like what they had in Star Trek you know and it'll go that way maybe eventually that'll happen but the reality is that we're not there yet and so in other words in order to eat um, for a lot of people in order to maintain their place of residence their accommodation um, in order to maintain running water, power, those sorts of things, people need money. They need money to live. And another thing that I'm actually wondering on that score is, with these people who are complaining, what exactly, if we're not allowed to do this, what exactly are we allowed to do to earn a living? You know, I mean, is... Honestly, sitting in a cubicle for eight hours a day, like a battery chicken, and it is a lot like that, is that really the only way in your minds that, that we are allowed to earn an income? I mean, surely if there are people out there who are coming up with ways that they can earn money, uh, that they can earn money by producing something that other people want to pay for, if other people want to pay for it, and that is their decision, by the way, um, if they can find ways, basically, of earning a living that don't involve, you know, uh, leading, basically, a soul-destroying lifestyle to s some extent, being stuck in the cubicle, surely that's a good thing. Surely we should applaud them. Surely we should support that. Surely we should say and have the attitude, hey, they're developing something that maybe eventually we could all use in order to get out of a situation where we have to work an eight hour a day job or where we have to basically work as janitors or I don't know, flipping hamburgers or whatever or, or some other meaning, uh, menial brain dead job that just about everyone doing it hates you know I mean this seems to be the thing there seem to be a lot of people out there who, who have the attitude that it's morally superior to do, to do something that you absolutely hate doing and to have to spend your life doing that. I don't want to spend my life like that. I'm not going to spend my life like that and I'm not going to listen to anybody who tries to tell me that I'm wrong because I don't want to spend my life like that. If you think that it's wrong um, to want to spend your life not doing something that you hate, then instead of criticising not only well, yeah, I do feel as though I'm being included in this because I do want to make money with what I'm doing online. I do want to pull myself out of my current situation because it sucks. And I know I'm getting intense here, but I am getting annoyed by this. This is not fair. This is hitting me really where I live. And as I said, if you think that people who do want to make a living doing something other than what it is that they hate for eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, or even more than that, if you think that's how it ought to be and that we're wrong for wanting to do something other than that, maybe we're not the ones who really need to be criticised here. Maybe you really need to look at yourselves. And maybe you need to actually start thinking, well, for everyone to live doing what it is that they hate, that's not healthy. It's not healthy. It doesn't lead to a, um, a really positive, genuinely productive society in other areas. You know? We're not the ones in the wrong here. Look in the mirror. Really. <laughs>